Meanwhile, INEC has raised concerns over citizens' political enthusiasm, as reflected in the collection of registered PVCs despite extension of the exercise. This was revealed in Yola, the Adamastic capital, during a town hall meeting with INEC and other stakeholders to discuss the role of the various stakeholders in encouraging and improving civil participation in political processes. According to INEC, despite recording over 95 million uh, of uh, PVC, collection, PVC collections, citizens still uh, need to show uh, more interest and improve their capacity to participate in politics. The votes votes counted. And we cannot allow that space without participating as young people, as citizens, as uh, non-state actors. As great citizens of this country who are patriotic, we should also start this conversation before the election in 2023. And so I'm happy also that we are not doing this alone, we are doing it with the support of the Irish Embassy, Irish Aid, who has constantly remained our partner in progress, who have been supporting this network for the past three years, either whether in humanitarian response and also governance issues like this. And for me, and as somebody who is from here and who has worked extensively in the Northeast region, I want to tell you that this thing we are doing today surpass most of the humanitarian response you think you will get, you, you want to get. Because when they bring their response, it's just to support people who are affected, two of us. The people who are, not sick, who are not affected are more in number. And the people who are also affected, they need good governance. So our ability to bring credible leadership in our polity, credible leadership in all strata of governance speaks volume and speaks about the quality of leadership and life we will get after 2023. Uh, our communities or our societies have a specific way a woman should conduct herself in a community. Most of the apathy that women have in getting involved is when it comes to um, the, the electoral process is not aligning to their societal conduct. They will say um, or there's a line where they have to be exposed to men seeing them or like the security of the places or the distance to their um, cell zone. So things like this will make a woman feel, I just rather stay at home. So there should be a way for the, um, for the electoral uh, processes to reflect on the way a woman should conduct herself in a society. Is this place, uh, maybe there's a polling station in a, in a Majalisa where men gather. Another woman will feel like, no, this is not my place. This is a place where my elders stay. I shouldn't be there. So even though she have a valid reason, there's this reluctance. So we should, we should make sure that the electoral process this time reflects how a woman conducts herself in various communities, not just in the northern atmosphere. Different communities have their own different cultures. So the electoral process should reflect that, and I think that will inspire women to be coming out. The youths are being disenfranchised from participation in the electoral process. The community has put in place an effective electoral system for youth participation. Today, the majority of our electoral activities are technologically driven and the youths are the category of individuals in the society that are more inclined to explain it and the services and resources. For instance, during the choice of religious civil exercise, an online component for registration was first introduced before the conventional or the physical or in-person registration. So in conclusion, CBR total for Nigeria as at 1st August 2022 stand at 12,298,944. And out of the total people recorded, use between the age of 18 to 34 constituted 8,784,677. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.